What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to talk about Tower of Hanoi. Pretty well known common puzzle in math and in computer science and in the next problem of CSES. So what is Tower of Hanoi? Basically it is a math puzzle that can say it consists of three towers. So there's three towers. One of the towers has these rings. Each of these rings there's the small the medium and then the large. Right? It's kind of like a, one of those child's child toys, right? When you see at Toys R Us, you have one of these rings that has like small, medium, and large. Our job is to move all the discs to another tower, but there are some rules you have to follow. So we only can move one disc at a time, right? I can't just take all two, three, and then just put them onto the tower. It's cheating, right? Only one disc at a time. The second rule is that only the top disc can be removed. So I only could remove the one on the, the top most disc. So in our, in our first picture, you see right here, it's so on the top disc, the smallest disc that you can move. If it was like the middle disc, then that's that's the only one that you can move. So only the top disc can be removed, okay? And the third rule is that you cannot have a large disc over a small disc. So what that means is that, like in our picture here, we cannot have the green on top of the blue, right? Because the blue is the smallest, right? We cannot have the green because the green is a large disc and it cannot sit over the small disc. Right, so this green disc has to be always on the bottom and the brown disc has to be in the middle. So yeah, that's essentially what it has to do. Okay, so how do you solve this problem? So to solve this problem, you have to move, move the discs around individually and then place them back together and then move it back to the, your destination. Okay, but let's start with one disc. So if we, let's, if we just had one disc, you could easily just move the source to the destination because like, that's all you have to do. But if you have two discs, right, you have to move the smaller disc to the auxiliary peg, which is like the third tower that's on our destination. So we're just gonna move the smallest disc to the third tower, then move the larger disc to the bottom, and then finally move the smaller disc from the third tower back to our destination, okay? So it looks like this drawing right here. So now if you want to do the nth disc, the recursive algorithm is like this. So we're gonna move n minus one discs from the source to the auxiliary. So that means that we're gonna move all the discs that are not the largest to the third peg of the auxiliary. We're gonna move the nth disc from the source to the destination. So we're gonna move the largest to our destination. And then we're just gonna move the n minus one discs back to from auxiliary to destination. So yeah, so here is like the procedure here, right? So if the disk is as equal to one, our size of our disks for, uh, is one, all we have to do is just move the destination, the disk from the source to destination, okay? Otherwise, we're just gonna decrement the number of disks that we're moving every time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the source to the auxiliary. Then move one disk, one disk from the source to destination. And then um, now afterwards, we're just gonna move the auxiliary to the destination. And that's our last call. The third variable, we just put the third variable at where it is. So yeah, that's the essentially the code. And uh, I'll show you guys the code now. So guys, the code looks like this. Yeah, so we read an n, which is number of disks. I have a vector pair, x re represents like the source and destination because they want you to print the source and destination. Then I just called solve with my pairs, my pair of answers of x and then I pass in the number of disks and then here are just for from, to, and auxiliary. So I have one, three, and then two representing from, to, and auxiliary. So these are the different pegs. And yeah, and here we have solved if the size of n is equal to one, we're just gonna push back from and to two, our source to destination into our answer array and then we return. Otherwise we're gonna recursively call n minus one, passing in our answer array and just pass in the source to the auxiliary. So this is passing in n minus one disks from source to auxiliary. Then we're gonna push back, which is gonna be, we're gonna add the front to two, which is like source to from source to destination, adding one disk from source to destination. And we're adding this into our answer array because they want us to print out the answers. And then here we recursively call on the n minus one disks and we pass from auxiliary to the source. Yeah, yeah, auxiliary to, wait, you no, know, source destination, auxiliary to destination. Auxiliary to destination, okay. So that's basically just piling on the rest of the rest of the disks. And that's basically the gist of the code. And then in the end, we just loop through our, we print out the size of our answer array, and then we just 
print out for each of the answer, each of the values in our answer array, we just print it out, print out the first, the from the source and destination of each value. And that's it, return zero. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, rate, comment, subscribe, I'll check you guys later, peace.